Hey, what's up, Zach here. And today I've got the all new Diodora Blue Shield Torneo. And from 30,000 feet, they look like a pretty similar shoe to the Diodora Blue Shield 5s. But let's see what's the same and what's different. And a big thanks to Tennis Point USA for sending me these shoes with no strings attached so I can still give you my unfiltered opinion. However, if you do wanna pick up a pair of these, I do have links in the description below. All right, here we go. Now the biggest difference between the Blue Shield Tornios and the Fives is in the uppers. And if you look at them just from a little bit farther away, you would think they're not as substantial of an upper because that Diodora logo here on the Blue Shield Tornio is not stitched in. It's not an actual layer of foxing here. Like in the Blue Shield Fives, you actually have a stitched in piece of plastic Plastic. However, what I noticed on the Blue Shield Tornios is they're just a little bit easier to break in. The uppers are just a little bit more malleable, a little bit more accepting of your foot versus in the fives where they actually could take, you know, a little bit of time to break in until they really felt plush and nice. Whereas on the Tornio, had no issues with any stability, still the same great stability of the fives, just a little bit easier to break in. And another interesting thing about the Tornios is they've gone to outrigger laces on the lateral side, then they still have integrated on the medial and kind of vice versa as you get up into the ankle collar. The tongue is nice and light, but padded. So those are a little bit of upgrades here in the Tornio. And also, as you can see, that drag guard now has some break points here for breathing. However, how small they are, I think that's just more for decoration. And on the upper durability test, the Dremel 10 seconds, highest grit sandpaper, about the same as the Blue Shield 5s. You get a pretty decent scuffing on that toe drag guard. However, it's just so thick that the durability is still just as good as any of the toughest uppers we've seen this year. But what is the exact same in the Tornios and the 5s, which actually makes the biggest difference in stability? are all these outrigger stabilizer pieces on the lateral side all the way from the rear foot to the forefoot as well as the outrigger heel counter and then on the medial side where that outsole base shank is now that is really the hero of this shoe as well as the blue shield fives that's what gives it all of its side to side stability and all of that snap when moving back and forth i mean if you look at these shoes on that shuttle test 14.67 seconds in a shoe that is by no means a real streamlined speed focused shoe and that just goes to show you i mean yeah the grip is excellent and there's a lot of good things about this shoe. However, what really gives me that real confidence going side to side and that real snap when trying to move side to side and pick up speed is all the caging around the outside of the shoe that keeps your foot ultra stable, ultra centered within the shoe and absorbs all that side to side energy. Just really great engineering that I'm glad they didn't get rid of in this new iteration of the shoe. And speaking of things that they didn't get rid of from the fives to the Tornios, if you look at the midsole teardown, yeah, this is the Blue Shield fives because it's the exact same midsole. Sole. You've got that really nice elastic EVA in the rear foot, as well as the blue shield in the forefoot with all those nubs up front there, which really do absorb a ton of energy in a lot of different directions. So no matter where you're planting or kind of what position your foot is in, this shoe will accommodate the front part of your foot, give you a lot of tactile feel on the ground and allow you to kind of keep stable. Whereas some other shoes, either you're going to sacrifice stability in the forefoot or you're going to sacrifice padding and support. And these, it's a perfect combination of both. But what I found really interesting is even with the different uppers, the weights of these shoes are still the same. And I think where they saved weight with the foxing on the uppers, they actually put on with some more bells and whistles here on the lace line or maybe the different tongue. So the weights did stay the same in these shoes. And if you just look at the jump height test, 32 centimeters of jump height on the Tornios. Now, yeah, that is different from the Blue Shield 5s. However, remember, I have been working with a trainer for my basketball videos. So my jump heights have actually been getting better. And around 30 to 32 has been kind of baseline, which has been like a pretty decent shoe for me. And above that is where I get into the real elite territory. Now, these shoes are obviously pretty flat on the ground. Shoes are meant for more stability. However, being able to get that jump height in these just shows a very efficient midsole able to propulse you when you need it. And get Getting into the outsole tread of the Blue Shield Tornios, you guessed it, it's exactly the same as the Fives. And honestly, if it's not broke, at least in my opinion, don't fix it. What I think is the best part of the Fives and the Tornios is that outsole flange, which is serrated here with outsole rubber, which just gives so much grip when moving side to side and really pushing off from those aggressive lateral movements. That's one of my favorite parts of this shoe, and I think it's one of the best designs in an outsole that we've seen in the tennis space this year or even years prior. And once again, surprising note, Nobody on the outsole durability test, the Dremel 10 seconds highest grit sandpaper, I mean, not even a millimeter of damage on the Tornios. This is incredibly good rubber in terms of resistance to abrasion. Now, if you look at the durometer of this rubber, it's only 13.5, which that is still a pretty decent number. That is still pretty hard rubber. However, for how good that this does against abrasion, the durometer I thought would be a little bit higher on these. However, this is like a medium hard compound in terms of hardness and a very resistant to abrasion. Asian type rubber. 
Now, the fit of the Tornios is a little different. They are really forgiving because of those more plush uppers. So if you are a narrow or medium foot, probably wanna go down a half size if you want that one-to-one -one fit. A 2E can go true to size. If you're over a 2E and you want a little more room, then you can go up that half size. But remember, the lace eyelets in the ankle collar are vertical, which means they wanna be used as a runner's knot. Any shoe you see like that where those lace eyelets are vertical, that means that that shoe needs to be used in a runner's knot or you could get a little bit of movement in there. Once you lock them down, they are a perfect fit and they lock your ankle in really well. However, if you don't, you are gonna get a little bit more movement. But honestly, the best part of the fit of the Tornios is because of all the stabilization on the outside, inside, and back of the shoe, as well as blue shield in the forefoot, no matter really what kind of ailment you're bringing to the tennis court or what kind of foot type you have, the Tornios will kind of accommodate you and kind of give a little bit something back to you. That's why I like this shoe so much, especially as a foot doctor, is just because it's an easy shoe to recommend to so many different people, no matter what they're bringing into my office or to the tennis court. And you know, getting into the playability of the Blue Shield Tornios, there are some very subtle differences between the Tornios and the Fives. And what I think it's really interesting is that the Tornios have some characteristics of the Blue Shield 4. And that means that they're very buttery to play in. They're super plush and comfortable in the uppers to play in, yet they've got more of that force and more of that snap that the Fives did over the Fours. So they're a little bit kind of the best of both worlds between the Fours and the Fives and kind of it born here in the Tornio. Uh, what I really like on the Tornio is you're still getting that massive grip on the court. You're getting all that stability, that really good feel on the ground, but all that support. But also in the uppers, you're kind of getting a little bit more comfort from something that's meant to be more of a plush feeling, more plush ride type shoe. So in versus the fives, where some of these people are complaining that they feel a little bit tough, a little bit hard. They're not really a comfort focused shoe in the uppers. You know, the Blue Shield Tornio kind of takes care of that. They just give you so much confidence underfoot that, you know, you're not going to buckle. You're not going to roll left or right. You can push off that next step just you can kind of just have enough confidence to use your own footwork and your own abilities to kind of their maximum potential in these shoes and that's why i think these do so well yeah they're not lightning quick like the b icons and they're not the boats like the gp turbos are but they're that middle ground of shoe where you're getting ultimate stability comfort and wicked quick side to side movement that really kind of the all court game that a lot of people are playing right now you know really demands out of a shoe so you know like i said in terms of fit and as well as terms of playability, it's just really hard for me to not recommend these shoes to such a wide swath of people. And that's why I like them so much. Now remember, the Blue Shield Tornios are not the Diodora B icons. I think in the future, I'll probably do a head-to-head -head of these two, just kind of show the differences because they are much different shoes. However, if you do want to see my review and teardown of the Diodora B icon, make sure you click into this video up above and subscribe down below. Respect your rubber and foam. I'll see you in the next video.